Starting with a month ago, we had a nice little rivalry game. You remember a month ago? I, I don't, actually. <laughs> After Wabash Valley Classic, everything's gone. But we had a nice game in the Wabash Valley between Park Heritage and South Vermilion. It went to overtime in the banks of the Wabash Championship game. Down to the final horn tonight was the rematch between the Wildcats and the Wolves. This one took place at the old historic Clinton Gym. First time in 10 years I've been in there, say. folks. This was, this was <clears> a nice <throat> one. I liked it. Reminded me of the birdcage a little bit. Third quarter action. Park Heritage in front by seven when BT Loose dives baseline going off the glass, making a nine-point game. Loose came out of the half ready to score, knocking down a three-pointer, what he does best in my opinion, putting his Wolves in front by double digits. The Wildcats could feel this one getting away, so senior Luke Bush going on the attack immediately here for the laying off the inbounds play. Next, South Vermilion possession. Wildcats trying to keep pace with the Wolves. Fellow senior Zane Matherly going to the rim for two of his own. Still in the third, Bryson Schultz goes on the attack and is rewarded with the hoop and harm. South Vermilion back within nine after the old school three-point play. But this play sums up the night for Park Heritage Loose. Reading the inbounds, tips it, saves it. And we're going to have Carter Crumb right there underneath the rim for the lay-in. Hey, BT, thanks for not running me down, bud. Should have ran him over. Appreciate you saving me. <laughs> Crumb was the story of this one, though, Rick. Every single time Park Heritage needed a bucket, the freshman got it. 23 points and 15 rebounds as the Wolves down the Wildcats, 59 BT to 38. BT could have ran over you. His dad's got insurance. I'll take care of you. There you go. Throwing you out there, Ryan. You going to take care of me? <laughs> Hope so.